What's up, everybody? It's the Rogue in Disguise, North American community contributor for World of Warships, Blitz, and content creator on Facebook, and general nice guy and happy-go-lucky individual that wants to teach you a couple things about Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio that you may be looking for or just been having difficulty finding because there's not that many tutorials about this. This is for more of the advanced user that's already aware of how to use OBS Studio. So I get a question a lot as, like, how do I separate my audio in OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS, this is Streamlabs OBS, so I can go back into my video editor and may have to do something with the original voice audio, game audio, or any additional audio that you may have in your recording that you may want to eliminate, emphasize, delete, record, whatever the case may be that you want to do with your audio. I'm going to show you how to separate them and get that nice, beautiful three tracks or four tracks or six tracks or eight tracks on your video. And I'm going to show you it's the easiest thing in the world to do. So a lot of people miss this, especially after they've gone to their audio input and they've selected all the audio inputs that they wanted to use or their, their microphone, their game audio, their music, whatever the case may be. The one thing that they freaking to do at the end of it, especially in Streamlabs OBS, is to go into the output and go into recording. Secondly, indicate the number of tracks that you wanted ordered. This is one thing they forget. The second thing that they forget to do is come over to the mixer, which is right over here, and go into it, advanced audio settings and deselect the other track where they're input devices are going to be recorded. For example, you see on this first VU meter where my voice is coming in, well, that's going to be exactly how you see it in the scene. And as you can see right now, I get audio from my system, which comes on the second track. Well, I want to make sure that that audio doesn't travel down into the other tracks. I want to make sure my voice goes into track one. My second bit of audio that I want to go in goes into track two. So say if my game sounds, my music or whatever, it goes into track two. And then the third one, same example, say for like Discord, or for YouTube or Spotify or any of that case can go into track three. Whatever arrangement that you want, you can do it as you will. But the main thing is making sure that you deselect the other tracks to make sure you solidify and verify that you're getting that one audio track with that one particular audio sound that you want in there. Okay, so that is Streamlabs OBS. In OBS Studio, it's the same th thing pretty much except that you don't have to select the number of tracks it's already pretty much there for you when you go into your audio settings you want to select the inputs that you want for this example this is two input all right i got a microphone and i've got game audio for when i'm recording on obs studio because all i want to record is my voice and game audio because typically i'm not going to be recording music on my stream or on my gaming pc but that's for the example that i have here so when we go into there we make sure that I do that and then we go into output we make sure that's good uh our video is good now we're just getting into the audio there's really no other advanced options here other than to pick for this example the mar microphone and game sound so i've got that separated right there using a program called voice meter banana super easy to use plenty of tutorial videos out there but you can do that anyway but you can just set it to be your microphone and your desktop audio two different ones but the final step on that it is really super easy going down into the audio mixer of OBS Studio, clicking on the cog on any one of these VU meters that you see right there for the settings and going into advanced audio properties. And again, deselecting the ones that you don't want to use. Okay. You're going around, you're deselecting the ones that you don't want to use. So say if I want my microphone only to be on track one, well, I'm going to deselect track two through six. They're going to be white and empty. That, that's the way they indicated they're deselecting. If you want it selected, it's going to have a nice black check mark in the middle of it. Same thing with my, say, my game audio. I'm going to make sure that track one is deselected, track three, four, five, and six are deselected, and then I'm going to make sure track two is the only selected track that I want, and that's going to be indicated with the black check mark inside the box, depending on your version of OBS Studio. At the time, this really is, this was the version I'm running. 27.2.4. Again, just making sure it's selecting. So when you are doing it, you're good to go. That's one thing that you want to make sure is that you want to have your voice recorded in the proper audio channels and you go and correct it. Game audio is going on the second track and then my voice is going on the first track. And it's the same thing with Streamlabs OBS and everything like that. I got it separated a further way by having the music on a different track as well.
and then my game audio plays on the third track. A couple of programs to control that, but that's pretty much what you're going to do in order to change your audio on both those and make sure that your audio is directed to the right tracks. It's deselecting a couple of ones in the advanced audio options on your audio mixer of either Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio. It takes a moment and get it done. And if you guys like that tip, I'm going to have a few more videos to do this. So smash that like button if you want to find out more cool little tips like this in later videos on. Also, check out the link in the link tree in this description. So you can check out our live streams as well because we got a lot of cool stuff happening there as well as, as we get new battleships to play with, new games to play with sometimes, and you know, you never know what happens because we're always a little bit of fun. Like pull my finger. <laughs> Just kidding. We'll see you in the next video, guys, and you have a great day. And make sure you smash that like and also check out our link in the description and subscribe today so you can catch more content like this. Until the next time, guys, don't do anything I wouldn't do twice. Oh, but yes.